Welcome to Virtual Wednesdays. We are so thrilled that you're able to join us tonight. My name is Francesca D'Alessio, and I'm the Senior Manager of Public Programs here at the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco. I am so proud and excited to introduce this powerful collaboration between Sea Black Women and the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco. Sea Black Women is a collective of incredible artists and was formed as a response to the lack of opportunity and support for Black women in the art world. This collaboration is a call for accountability to engage with critical, long overdue conversations about power and representation in our cultural institutions. As educators, we are determined to expand the narrative and provide multiple access points to art. These programs create an opportunity to do so by centering the work, contributions, and expressions of Black women. We pose the questions, whose culture is this? Whose narrative is this? Who relates to this piece? Who feels seen here? Who feels inspired? The questions are endless, but we hope that this collaboration opens the possibility in the collective consciousness of radical imagination. Please join me in welcoming Sea Black Women. Hi everyone, I'm Tahira Rashid, one of the founders of Sea Black Women. Sea Black Women is a movement of artists and activists raised on Black feminist theory. We center and promote the work of Black women. We are a platform for self-representation, free from stereotypical tropes, and we counter narratives that undermine the expression of our humanity. See Black Women, hear Black Women, trust Black Women, love Black Women, protect Black Women, pay Black women. We are so excited to be a part of the public programming of the De Young Museum, and we hope that you enjoy what we have curated for you. Earth is ghetto, I want to leave, can you beam me up? I'm out on the street by the corner store, you know the one on 15th, got a bright shirt on, so I'm easy to see. I've been down here stranded indefinitely, I can't reach my plan. treat each other it's hard to conceive oh earth is ghetto i want to leave oh earth is ghetto i want to leave i want to Hi everyone, thanks for joining. Welcome to Black Reactions. This is the first programming of a five program series with the San Francisco Fine Arts Museum at D. Young. This program will air March 10th, 2021. And I'm so happy that you all could join me. So Black Reactions is an event in which you all will be in conversation about artwork, which may or may not be in the D. Young's collection. Currently, displays of genuine reaction are a viral trend tapping into the desire for authentic expression. So that's what we're going to do here. This will be an opportunity for me to introduce you all to artists and pieces of work um, or a canon unfamiliar to you. And hopefully that will give rise to a unique conversation on what is seen and how it is interpreted from each perspective addressing Black visual and cultural literacy. Here we go. I like the fast pace already. <laughs> Jolene, 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 Jolene. Okay. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Hey, hold up, hold up. Hey, we gotta turn this up in the headphones, right? Um, if we could start at the top, I'm gonna pass it to you, Oka. If you could please introduce yourself, who you are, where you're from, pronouns, and what their favorite piece of art. Uh, my name is Olka Balde. My pronouns are she and her. I am currently uh, in Oakland, California, Ohlone lands. And I am originally from the Gambia in West Africa, but have been many, many places uh, since then. I do consider myself a nomad in the lineage of the Fulani people, the tribe that I come from. Um, and my favorite piece of art 
is oh, it's a couple of things. It's a couple poems uh, from Anis Mojani, but I'll say Come Closer by Anis Mojani. That poem just does it for me every time. Pass it to Camila. Did I say it right? Yes, yes, you did. Thank you. I'm Camila. Um, I'm from Oakland, California. I currently fled and right now I'm in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, and it's warm and sunny and like feels like summertime here. I'm so excited to be here. Um, I'm the founder of two companies, Rich and Riot, which is a women's entrepreneurship uh, resource and opportunities uh, newsletter and community. And then also I'm one third co-founder of Just Be, we're a black woman's business community out of Oakland, California. And I'm gonna pass it, oh, my pronouns are she, her. And my favorite piece of art right now is, um, I know he's getting a lot of like flack right now, but I'm obsessed with Tyler Mitchell right now. I have his new book um, and there is a photo of a black girl hula hooping in it that I'm just like, obsessed with I love it so much she just looks so carefree and fun and yeah just beautiful and I'm gonna pass it to Clinay. 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 Uh -huh. um, wow so I'm Clinay, uh born and raised in Seattle I've lived in Chicago for uh, almost 15 years off and on. Um, I'm a certified fine art appraiser and curator and preservationist. Um, my, and I founded my company, Headsmith Art Consulting. Um, I'm the interim director for the Father Divine Museum and Library in Gladwin, Pennsylvania. So I travel back and forth. I do 30 days on there, 30 days on here in Chicago. My favorite work right now is by a artist named Barry Horton. He died in the 80s. He was very active in the 40s and he did a series called Hermaphrodite where he is drawing black women in domestic work. So he's sketching and then he'll have like a big penis right there on her, right? Or he'll have like a, a sketch of a man who you believe is a, is a male, identify as a, like a male pimp, but is actually a female, right? And so he was doing this in the 40s, early 40s. And so um, I'm just really, really, really in awe and in love with, with his work and what he was doing. So, and that's it. Amazing. Well, I'm, I'm T. Tahira Rashid. I'm from Oakland, California, co-founder of Sea Black Women, co-founder of Colexo. Um, I am so happy to have y'all all together and be doing this, this part of the series reactions. And so I want to go ahead and read the description again. Um, so this event documents you all in conversation about artwork, um, some of which may or may not be from the, the D. Young collection. Um, and here's what we have. So these displays of your displays of genuine reaction um, currently our viral trend is tapping into the desire for authentic expression. So this opportunity to introduce you all to a canon of art, familiar or unfamiliar, will give rise to, I hope, a unique conversation. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share art, some, some pieces with you, and I'm going to do less of a curation of questions unless it's needed. And I would just appreciate how it is you all would like to respond just okay <laughs> I, you know so so because I have art history back like I'm always like thinking of who is that but just looking at the piece it's I don't I don't know if it could, if if this piece can make a noise, like what noise? Would it make? <laughs> well, all right, I got it. If this piece can make a noise, it would be like. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, immediately I was looking at the subjects and I'm like, what kind of nose is that? Is that, I mean, immediately. So I looked at the man because the women weren't giving me black vibes too much. So I looked and I know we come in all kinds of shapes, styles, colors, everything. <laughs> but I looked at the man, I'm like, he looks like, okay. So, right. Um, they look high to me. Yeah. Um, poor and high. Definitely poor. Um, and I and I'm like, who? I'm like fixated on the young person with their back to us. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I want her to turn around. Like, who is that? What does her face look like? Why it's is she like- the only young person there, seemingly? It made like, me think of being multi generational home, right? Like, yeah. But just, yeah, struggle. That's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> I, I struggle. Yeah, I, this one feels really like really uncomfortable. Like I want to get away from it almost. <laughs> yeah, everyone looks hard. Yes, <laughs> except, for, except for like you said, you're hoping that the young lady turns around and you see that youthful, so, like soft, like life. But everyone else is pretty. They've had a hard knock life. This is a rough day. Yeah, yeah. I feel like if that person, the little young. <laughs> person <laughs> was like, Be afraid. Yeah. well at first I was like is that a doll mm. like because she... and I'm also not sure like it it looks so like different from everything else in the photo you know like or in the painting I just yeah. It's really interesting because the light, the only, I mean, you have the physical, like the light above what they're eating, but like the glow around her head where the, the artist obviously made it light, lighter, gives that impression of like hope, I guess, in a way, because everything else is so dark and gloomy and just dirty, soot, just. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Does your, does your opinion about the artwork change the longer you look at it? Anybody? Mine does. So uh, initially when I saw it, I was like, oh man, this is a hard day. <laughs> Ooh, this They're tired. He is putting his, you know, cup out, like, don't forget me. Um, but then the more I'm look at, the more I look at it, I'm like, there's something about like still taking the time out to like pour yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and like sit around the table and still have dinner mm-hmm. together. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. That's a really good point. Well, I always look at hands because my great grandmother always told me that's how you can tell a black woman's age is through our hands because we don't age anywhere else. Mm-hmm. And so <laughs> um, I was looking at the hands and I was like, damn, those are some hard hands too, right? Like those are true work hands, like, you know? Yeah. I feel like your reactions to this painting is uh, changing my impressions of it. Mm. (laughs) How so, Oka? Cause now I'm like, okay, oh, maybe this is like a loving family. You know, they they just don't have that many lights, like no plants inside, but maybe Mm. there is like some commitment to one another in doing this ritual, sitting at the table. Maybe there is this hope in the younger person because previously I was like, just like, uh, I can move on to the next one at any time, (laughs) but y'all analyzing it. And now I'm like, okay, I'm kind of it. I'm I'm coming in. And so this is Vincent Van Gogh, the potato. Yeah. Mm. Cool. So I'm going to go on to the next one. Oh. (laughs) Tell me. Oh. First reactions. (laughs) 
I mean, my first reaction is, who is that behind them? <laughs> I mean, that's just our first. And who is whose face is that on the right hand side? On the bottom right hand side. On the bottom right hand side. So foolish, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering what is like lightly caressing their top titty, whether that's like a cat, <laughs> like a little cat tail coming down mm. or like a vine. Like I just, that's, that's the first thing that I saw. I think and that owl is real close to a private part. I'm a little nervous for that. Yeah. <laughs> that's an owl? I think so. Is that an owl? Or eagle. Or an eagle. In that family, you know. Um, immediately I think of the smoothness and how um, of the material, right? Uh, and the sturdiness of the body, the female, like the frame. But then also how you have breasts that are obviously breasts, right? Um, but you also have like definition of muscle and you know, in the European tradition, like that's usually at a certain time, it was, it was, it was more acceptable, but even now, like, I think a lot of people would, um, aren't used to seeing that, like seeing definition on the stomach and even on the thigh like that. And then like breasts. So, um, that's something that sticks out to me. Mm. I think what sticks out to me is that a man clearly shaped sculpted this because I don't know whose titties are that far apart. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, titties come in all kind of ways. So don't, I mean. Yeah, that's true, that's true. I'm just saying like. Yeah. They're like. They are. They were <laughs> admissions. It almost looks like they were afterthoughts, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Now like, that you say that, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm yeah. And I'm sorry, even the foot. Like yeah. the toes look very quote unquote masculine um, and seem to just not, yeah, those, those titties were afterthought. Definitely. Yeah. Like, Let me throw some C's on her and, and <laughs> you know, let, it, let it go. You know, I am really just, I think I'm always fascinated and impressed how stone can look like so supple and so body like I mean like I'm looking at the toes too I'm like how those look like real toes I mean you yeah. know you really got I mean one of them's going underneath the other one yeah yeah, yeah. Those, uh, <laughs> those do what they want so I'm just like it's it's always um really impressive to me how artists make form out of something that's so rigid mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go to the next one Okay. Love this. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Can you all see? Yep. Yeah. Reactions. My first reaction is church. Mm. I don't know why. I would just, it just, my first, that was the first word that popped in my head, church. It's the shoes, the church shoes, right there. <laughs> you got the nice outfits, you better not get those dirty. <laughs> Your hair is nice, somebody press those. You know, you left the house looking like somebody loves you and you better come back looking all day. You don't want to catch them. Yeah. Press I think just girlhood, just those, yeah, those experiences of just, yeah. I literally remember playing that game. <laughs> yeah. Where, with <laughs> that hand game, I know exactly what they're playing in that circle. And when you have four people playing that game, it's so much better than if it's just two people. That's yeah. five though. You check five, yeah. That. Five, you have to go under your leg. That's too much. <laughs> it was complicated. Reactions. Tell me. 
Um, oh, I have so many reactions. She actually looks like somebody in my life. <laughs> um, like a aunt. Well, and that's the thing. I think sometimes I this is definitely not my first time seeing this 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 work. And I think the colors and and are interesting in one thing, but you're right, the face looks like we know her. Yeah. We know she, her. She, she reminds me of my aunt that uh, didn't have any children and she always had hair done, makeup done, beautiful dress, pressed, like beautiful all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my first reaction. I felt really comforted when I saw this. Um, I felt comforted in, I'm, I'm debate. I think I know which artist it is, um, but I felt comforted in like kind of recognizing someone's work that I have, that I know to have, that I have an affinity to. Mm -hmm. um, and I just felt like, I was like, ooh, I like your dress, girl. You look like you give a nice hug. Like I wish it wasn't COVID so I could give you a nice hug. Like. You just look nice. Like you look like someone who would care. You know, I just like, as soon as you put it up, I felt really comforted. And like, if I saw this person, I would go to them as a helper or someone who was a carer. I have a question. So this artist uses a lot of different like colors and like her blacks, she grays and blues and stuff like that. But like, sometimes it's, I have to separate like the background color because that's not like a color scheme culturally that like that's not usually in a black house right so um sometimes I think I'm always like well why should pick that color like <laughs> like like you know the background so I don't know how do you guys feel about that color not that I mean it's just it's just something that you know we we don't go in our homes and have those color couches usually right yeah it's something I like the color that makes her feel familiar okay. yeah like a it's warm okay um comfortable mm. and all mm -hmm. of the react like y'all's initial reactions is very interesting because the piece is titled the girl next door mm -hmm. by Amy Sher mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know Kune I feel like I don't know, there's something, there's something about it, which I can't personally put my finger on. There's something about it that does feel not quite, like, I'm like, I think I know you, but like, I don't, like, like, right? maybe, I would, okay. uh, like maybe I would say hi, but then realize you actually just look like someone I think I know, but it's not you. And then I would be embarrassed that I said hello. You know what I mean? Like. There is something, and maybe it's the color of the skin. It's like that grayness that is incorporated in there. But there is something I can't. Yeah, remember. yeah. I, to me, it's it's that background color. It, even the yeah, the the color of the skin. But like you said, you feel like you can. You wish it wasn't COVID. You can go up and hug her. Like she looks like she gives good hugs. Like all of that can be read in her face. But yeah, it's, it's always been something about the colors that just I don't know. It just kind of like, uh, are you who are you again? You know. So. Mm -hmm. It made me think of the 50s, that color for some reason. Mm -hmm. It made me think of like a particular time period. Ever like she's that. from this era. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just think really what oh. makes it interesting is her forward gaze. Like there's no reservation about anything. She's standing, she's looking forward and like what else yeah hey i'm here yeah there's this really famous image one of them from the montgomery bus boycotts where um it's all of the black people who are walking to work on like that first day of boycott and there's two women in one of them and they're just like walking and it's just like these black people doing this simple act but it's so defiant of this entire system and now that you said that she is from the 50s, like there is one of the women in that image is like coming so clearly. I'm like, oh, this is that same woman. Hmm. I wish I had that image to like side by side. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was looking at uh, images from the women of the Black Panther Party um, taken in West Oakland and around the Bay. And what you just said, Olga, definitely is a similar experience I saw. Basically, the women in those pictures look like they were taken yesterday. The mm. the way in which we their the way they would look forward into the camera and the fashion and their skin and the products and their hoop earrings. It was like this photo was taken taken forty years ago or. Yeah. I'm confused, you know? I have a question for you all. How does the way in which your perspective of these works of art subvert the white gaze? Like, why do you think this is important that, you know, to how, how we're reacting, how we are just describing what we see um, on first reaction? And not all of us are our historian or curator but how do you see, um, how does, how, how, how do the images of Farai Shepard and Amy Sherald um, subvert the white gaze how do, versus Michael, Michelangelo? Mm. Yeah, for me, it's um, showing our most intimate private, private times, right? Like the, the sculpture with, you know, with the breast and stuff like that, like that's not, that's showing pr private areas, right, of the body, but that's not a private experience. And when you show little black girls at play, that's a that's a that's a private experience. That even when they drive by, mm -hmm. so I'm I'm just gonna say this: even they disrupt spaces, right? They disrupt private black enjoyment, play, um, and so when they even drive by, right? If little black girls are in a circle, you know, playing and one looks over and might see a white person stopping and looking like that disrupts our private experiences. And so this way, that painting doesn't, there's no disruption. Like they are forced to look at us in our private spaces, not because we're trying to advocate for them to see us as little girls or the ability to, you know, our humanity, but this is just what we do. Right. right. So that, that's that's us. That's our private spaces. And we're sharing it in a public way for 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 you to engage and to learn about us. Um, and so, um, you know, that Van Gogh piece, like we can there's a there's a kind of response that we have just because of our lived experiences mm -hmm. and our identities where we can pick up on and not saying other people can't. But like, right, like I immediately wanted to know, like, are any of these people black in here? Like nothing's giving me those cues, right? The, <laughs> the fat, the hair, right? The Puritan looking bonnet thing. Nothing gave me those cues, but I was searching for us, right? So I looked at the man, I was like, that cheek kind of the nose, you know? So, so I think the response, my response is very telling that we also try to look for ourselves in their spaces. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that it's not universal. We don't, that's not the universal representation of family, poor family eating or anything like that. Like we're trying to see ourselves in there. And so, you know, I think that, 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 that's a, that definitely um, disrupts the, the white, the white gaze for sure. So. Yeah. For me too, I think the difference lies in the responses. Cause I really felt like, you know, the first two that you showed, it was like, we have to come to it from a place of analysis. And then all of the black artists you showed is like, we felt into it. You immediately feel into it, right? You're just like transported rather than having to kind of focus and be like, I'm going to find the thing that I'm going to give some commentary about. And so for me, it's just, you know, um, having our art so available that if black people wanted to have the option to only be fascinated with our art then we could be right for so long black people have never concerned themselves with i mean excuse me white people have never concerned themselves with black art you know but we have been we have had to so if i can choose to never look at a van gogh again and just only look <laughs> at black art that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> you know definitely 
Yeah, I, I would just say that it felt very familiar. Like we all looked at it. We were like, oh, I know exactly what game they're playing. I know, I know her. I know that dress. I know that look that she's giving. Um, and there's, there's a, there's a comfort in feeling familiar because it, it gives you a feeling of being seen almost. I think that's amazing that like we're all from different places, even different continents, right? But we all can feel, like you said, feel something. And I don't know, like you said, if if they get that experience. I and in, in, in my my experience in my field, like that's not what happens. People don't bring in um, bathing and cleaning. You know what I mean? Like uh, beauty, beautification, and and stuff, and as a lived experience. And so I think that. That's that, the white gaze, it's, it, it lets you know it's very limited and narrow. It's unfortunate. People don't get to um, have the same experience and engage in it the same way. They have to work at it where I think for us, it's just like in our face, so. Yeah. Well, thank you all for sharing your thoughts and your time. Um, I really appreciate it. Woo. Hot like fire. Well, thank, thank you for thank having you, me. This great was... Listening to your, your thoughts and stuff, it really helped me think and see things differently. So thank you. Yeah, same as well. And TT, if you decide to do this again, I'm on board. This was so much yeah. fun and uh, same. It, it made me look at things with a different light and, and really kind of get into it a little bit more. I'm definitely down to keep doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to meet both of you it's nice to know who the a team is yeah. and i'm glad to know there's black art historians out there shout out to we black. are out there yes. we, we, all right we're out there and appraisers and and we're out here we all know each other yeah. <laughs> we all know each other i had a i had a i had an older lady come to me and was like oh we're gonna get you through so <laughs> let me they put a little fun together I went to New York. I was out there and, and they sent me books. I, yeah. Yeah. Come on, Black folks. They said, yeah. we got you coming. Oh, yeah. we don't get you through. So. <laughs> Ain't no That's mountain beautiful. high enough. Oh, no, yes. we're we going to do it. We're going to do it. And, and, and trust me, in a room full where they're all, the program only accepts 20, black, 20 students and I'm the only one in there. And you're talking about American art and you don't have no Black art up there. Yeah, I. Right. Yeah. yeah I, <laughs> you know what? It's, how, it's like how, because I lived in Texas and Austin, Texas calls itself the music capital of America. And uh -huh. it's not any Black music literally anywhere in sight. It's like, and they have maybe have cumbia. I'm like, y'all are so audacious. It's it one thing you wow. have. Isn't it amazing to create an entire world in your head that, and you're always wrong. Don't, don't think it's right to be wrong. <laughs> Like you're always coming in the door wrong. <laughs> Out of pocket. Just like them titties, Michelangelo. Doing. <laughs> he was, he was, not, doing I don't know what you're doing. He, he laid after that, like, oh, okay, if I must. <laughs> right. Oh, snap, you commissioned this to be a woman? Right, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? But you're right, sure. the cities are really far apart. Those, that, that was. I was trying to say, well, we all, they might be some that, but that's usually what happens when you get the fake ones, right? Yeah, but those yes. are really far apart. Like, really. That wasn't no, no surgeon's work. No, I know, right, right. <laughs> almost on the fence. Right, you're right. That was like almost under the arm, under the arm. Right. They probably didn't get full payment for that. They oh, were like, we're not. What we can't do is fulfill that obligation because you didn't fulfill your obligation. So, wow. Yeah. Oh, I think he was a freak. Oh, we like, <laughs> yeah, he was he, <laughs> talk about mental health disruptions like all all day, every day. Oh, wow. He wow. was, a, you, you can even go, you can even do a regular Wikipedia on him. He was a hot, hey, really? A mess, mess, like, like, Full out, like, okay, so how long were you committed in the institution and should you be out? No, he was a mess. Wow. All of them were a mess. You have to be a mess to put titties on, on a sculpture <laughs> like that. True. You have to, yeah. 
in those times. Yeah. yeah. And the, like you said, the bird, right? Why is the bird right there? Yeah. Why is the bird right there? The bird right I there. really thought that that was cook, that that was a man, <laughs> and then, like you said, that it was like, oh, this is supposed to be a woman. Oh, all right, well, well, it could be we- a gender expansive being, but they just like he didn't do them any favors. <laughs> <laughs> but why you know, was the bird that close though? Why? At what point is a bird ever supposed to be? That I cannot close? explain. Yeah, a bird because that wouldn't even be comfortable. A gerbil, okay. <laughs> you know, like I could get if something else was down there, but. A that's bird? like a bull that's like a big out like that was a bird bird yeah so okay yeah 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 and he obviously had a foot fetish because like you said the feet were like the color <laughs> everything that was the <laughs> most <laughs> impeccable thing on yeah, it. yeah yeah like why wasn't that i'm surprised he didn't add a little corn or something because it was well, it probably was on the side yeah once you said that, Oka, I started looking because I was like, wait, hold on. There, yeah, one foot is like, one little toe is kind of curled under the other. Yeah. Yeah, that's a real foot. I'm like, okay. Like, is that a person just covered up? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Well, ladies, we just wrote an entire like, <laughs> catalog resume about it. So I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Red for a fill. We did it. <laughs> Thank you. Earth is ghetto. I wanna leave. Can you beam me up? I'm out on the street by the corner store. You know the one on 15. My name is Aaliyah Sheffield, and I go by Nikki Aaliyah. But I'm a songwriter and um, a, a singer and a musician. And I play piano and sing for the last 10 years now. Over over 10 years, actually. So yeah. Amazing. Where are you from? I'm originally from North New Jersey, but I grew up in Savannah, Georgia. Your voice is beautiful and amazing and um, landed with me in such a significant way. That's the reason why I reached out. Um, okay, okay. So again, thanks. I just, I'm just really excited uh, Thank you. to have you. And I would like to get into Earth is Ghetto that basically... Okay is trending probably still and that resonated with so many people, all backgrounds. Um, And I was wondering if you would share a little bit about what were you doing when you came up with that song? Like, how did that that come about? I laughed because I was really at the corner store on 15th Street by my house uh, and just the melody is in my head and watching the news and just thinking, Earth is just ghetto. And then just writing a song as I'm at the corner store and then on my way home, like, okay, I got to go finish this song because it's earworm and it won't get out of my ear now. So now I have to finish it. Right on. Um, what has been some feedback that you've been hearing? I, it's, it's been really good feedback. Just uh, people just like that, how much they can relate to the song and how it's just a very real feeling of just wanting to be completely wanting to wipe your hands completely at this planet and just that is just so it's such a relatable song to so many people and that's what a lot of people have been saying to me about it yeah I agree and I'm definitely one of those people um I also was reminded of quote-unquote negro spirituals and Mm -hmm. how song for African Americans was a way that helped um our ancestors uh survive and resist the yeah. things that they were living under. And I, for, because of COVID and shelter in place and not being raised Christian or whatnot, mm-hmm. I still have the relation directly to um, spirituals and gospel music. And I thought that your song, however on the fly you made it was this expression and belief that, you know, one day like, we will get out of this, you know, all this yeah. depression and um, the things that have happened right in the beginning of this of this new year. And your song was, to me, felt like it was playing a, a central role in what is happening right now in the reckoning and, and what we're doing. And just so euphoric, just... rhythmic, and 
just not being Christian rooted in like a solo responsive like yeah it was it, it was definitely um uh, some people do think it was like a gospel song but it, it was definitely me literally saying I sure wish the aliens would beat me up any minute right now do you have any opinion or anything yeah um about what it means to folks at large not african-american and that this song is being sung by you an african-american black woman um my reaction to it was so grounding and joyful and hopeful um, um it's see? been it's it's been a mixture of uh, when I wrote the song, I wasn't necessarily hopeful about anything, but uh, I was definitely depressed writing the song. So it's wow. it's been it's been interesting to see people finding joy in it and finding their own and it in the people finding a way to find fun or humor or just be joyful listening to the song, and it just gives it a new life for me. Right. I, I think it's interesting that you said that you were depressed writing the song because I think a lot of people are depressed right now. And yeah, yeah, especially yeah, now it's just a crazy time right now. It's, experience it's a chaotic experience. time right now. It's chaotic and there's a lot of grief, there's a lot of death, and there's a lot of mourning. And I just yeah. wanted to highlight your song and highlight you because your gift has been healing for me. And I think that it has been for what I have seen to many other people. And I think it's important um, for people to recognize you, appreciate mm -hmm. you, and uh, to also highlight you and support you with this amazing talent that you have in music and singing um, that from what I saw, the reactions, the responses were so massive yeah it was like, very crazy it was it was crazy I wasn't expecting that at all right and you're healing you're healing people yeah. you know and that's the point of see black women and this programming and highlighting and promoting um how black women express themselves and survive and have survived um that mm -hmm. it's important to people to not only enjoy your song but recognize support you support Aaliyah Sheffield Right, you felt oh, good. Yeah. You did something yeah. for people, and that should be highlighted. And I'm just so thankful to be able to share this conversation with people, and that you were so gracious to to be a part of this. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so much for like just having me and listening to the music, and um, sharing it and all that because it does mean a lot to me that it it reaches people and people want to reach out to other people with the music. So. It does. It means a lot to me. That's awesome. Um, I will be. This is the theme. This is the theme, mm -hmm. theme song for mm -hmm. our programming. And oh yay! I I want it to be archived and recognized, and it's so in representative of of where we are in the times. And I think that you're an amazing, beautiful person. And thank you. Um, you deserve everything coming at you. And I hope that people see the, the healing aspects of your beautiful voice and your you. mental skills. So Yay. awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you very Have much. Have a good day and um, best of luck. Thank Bye. you very much. Bye.